Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Richard and welcome back to the Trader Lion channel. In this Tuesday tutorial, we'll be covering the concept of stage analysis from Stan Weinstein. Now you always hear you want to trade with the trend, but what exactly does that mean and how do you determine that trend? Uh, well, stage analysis is basically a way of determining the longer term trend of a stock and what kind of stage within its life cycle it is, whether it's basing, accumulation, advanced phase, topping, or a longer term decline. So um, in this video, we'll cover exactly what stage analysis is and how to apply it to your own trading. So getting into this graphic here, which sums everything up really well, we've got the stocks chart pattern represented by this black zigzag line. We've got a 30 week moving average, this red line here, and then we've got the stages. Uh, so starting with stage one, this is all about neglect and accumulation by longer term holders. Uh, during this stage, the stock is going up and down around the 30 week moving average. Um, and there's no clear defined trend just yet, uh, just kind of basing and, and overall um, consolidation. Uh, then we move into the stage two advance phase where the stock's price breaks up above the 30 week moving average and this moving average starts to curl upwards and follow price. So this is really when we wanna be involved as trend followers, position traders, uh, swing traders, everybody who's trading with the trend, this is when the biggest money is made. Then once we've been in a stage two uptrend for quite some time, and maybe we've had two, three, four, or even five William O'Neill defined bases, we might move on to a stage three period. So um, during this time, the 30 week has caught up to the price. Once again, we're oscillating up and down above that moving average, and we're not quite sure what direction the stock will go from here. And especially after a super strong uptrend like this, uh, this basing period consolidation might take months, even years. Um, and from this point, we can either continue on with another stage two uptrend. If once again, we start to break above that moving average, that moving average starts to curl upwards, and then we start another advance phase. However, we can also do the opposite and roll over and start a stage four decline. And the stage four decline is the exact opposite of the stage two advance phase. Here, we've got the stock's price trending below a declining moving average. And the big money is made in the stage two uptrend. That's when we want to be involved on the long side, uh, position traders, swing traders, investors. Uh, this is really when the big money is made. And the stage four, that's when the big money is lost. Here, funds are distributing stock. Um, and basically, you have to wait until a new stage one develops and then another potential stage two. Um, so after a stage four, we can once again go to a stage one and we can either move back up in a stage two uptrend or from this point, we can roll over once again and resume a stage four decline. And there's no telling really once we start a stage four, how long it will last and how deep the stock will, will drop basically. So that's a brief overview of the different stages. And now let's move on to some examples on a real chart. So first things first, we've got a chart of Netflix. This is IPO in 2002, and this is a weekly chart. All stage analysis is done and performed on a weekly chart. And we've got the 30 week moving average in red and the 10 week moving average in green. Uh, so this is something I've noticed a lot. The first potential stage two uptrend happens right at the end of a stock's institutional due diligence phase per the life cycle trade. And this started exactly like that. We've got a base forming up the right side of the institutional due diligence phase. We've got the stock's price first moving up above the 30 week moving average. And then right here, we have a nice breakout on above average volume. You can see that this is higher than the previous weeks. And this starts the stage two uptrend. And this continues until we have the stage three distribution churning phase. And in 2000, I've made two quick PCFs outlining both a stage four downtrend as well as a stage two uptrend. Uh, this period right here is the stage two uptrend as defined as the price is above a rising 30 week and the stage four is the price is below a declining 30 week moving average. So uh, you can see that pretty clearly down here in the PCF code. Uh, but anyway, we've got a nice stage one transitioning into a stage two uptrend. Then after a few standard bases, we have um, a longer term churning period and we ultimately fail roll over. This is a pretty ugly bar right here and we enter a stage four decline. And from the point that the stage four begins, let's even use the close of this week we declined quite a bit, about 60%, and give back the majority of the gains that we made during that stage two uptrend. So this is why 
Um, I always follow the rule that I was taught by Dr. Eric Wish. I only want to be involved in stocks during strong stage two um, uptrends. Um, and from this point, we do kind of bottom here. Obviously, Netflix becomes successful. Uh, there's more fundamental catalysts, great earnings, sales, all of that. And we form a very small stage one consolidation. Um, and then if we zoom out just a bit, uh, we ultimately start another stage two uptrend before beginning a longer term stage three turning into a stage one. And during this time, we basically have a bunch of churning. We don't have a clearly defined trend. And as a trend follower, we basically want to avoid that period altogether. And for Netflix, nothing really happens that's actionable until we have the bear market of 2008, 2009, and everything sets up once again. Uh, so obviously we have a pretty extended stage one period here where nothing much is happening. And that's actually quite a positive. The longer the base, uh, the better really the uptrend could be if it starts to break out and move, especially if there are fundamental catalysts. So uh, zooming in here, we've got an extended stage one period. We've got the bear market in 2009. Uh, you can see the stock starts to move up here. And then we start a stage two uptrend right here, actually right here, where the stock price starts to trend above a rising 30 week moving average, a strong stage two all the way up pretty much until the ultimate top where we start a stage four decline and once again, drop 70%. So especially with these high flying growth names, um, focusing on the stage two will save you a lot of hassle and also protect your capital when the trend really changes and institutions start distributing this company. And you can see it fell about 70, 80% or so. And Netflix obviously has turned into a longer term leader, uh, but many stocks that decline 70, 80% uh, never reach those highs once again. Um, and that's why it's so important to focus on the stage two uptrends. And with Netflix, if you're able to ride those stage two uptrends and avoid those stage four declines, you would have made a very, very big fortune for yourself. And one last example with Netflix, we've got another stage two that starts here. And then from this point, there's no huge distributive phases. We do have a short stage four decline here, um, but mostly it alternates between a stage two uptrend and a stage three and it's done incredibly well the past 10 years or so. So that's an example with Netflix. And I also want to show Zoom here because this is a very similar example to Netflix where we've got the institutional due diligence phase, then we've got the stage two breakout here above that moving average, and then the stage two uptrend really gets into gear right here as the 30 week starts increasing. And from this point on, it had a really nice run um, until the stage two basically ended uh, back here during this period. And you might notice here that once you have a position, it might be beneficial to shift your stop loss, your trailing stop loss to a close below the 10 week moving average, which pretty much contains this entire move right until the top. So there's a lot of options here. And as for buying within the stage two uptrend, what I like to look for is a first stage base, an early stage base right at the beginning of a stage two uptrend. So I know it's confusing um, stage analysis from Stan Weinstein, as well as base stages from William O'Neill. Uh, but basically I wanna focus on buying proper consolidations, cup and handles, flat bases um, early on in the stocks run. So early on in the stage two uptrend. Um, and obviously when the trend changes, that's the time to get out. Uh, now moving on to an example of a stage four decline at this point, we've got Alibaba. Um, and you can see that it actually started a stage four decline back in um, February of this year. And since then, um, since this point, it's declined about 30% or so. So a pretty large move for a big cap like this, a pretty large decline. And at this point, there's no sign of stage one forming here. It still has to tighten up, form some ranges, and let that 30 week catch up to price and, and start to uh, form a basing pattern, a bottoming pattern. So uh, that's an example of a stage four decline. Uh, Zoom as well um, was in a stage four decline, but then we had a little bit of a stage one here. And right now, we're actually really close to starting a stage two uptrend once again. So uh, it'll be interesting to see what happens with the stock, whether this turns out to be a stage three right here, or if this rolls over once again, and we start a longer term stage four. So overall, that is a brief explanation of stage analysis, along with some examples. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and leave a like down below and subscribe if you are new. And I'll see you guys in future videos. Thanks.